question is, where does our patience come from? Okay, yes, we've said part of being Muslim is that, you're, that you gotta be patient. It's a necessity of life. We're gonna be tested and therefore patience is required. But where do we seek this patience from? Well, the first place we seek patience from is our spirituality, is our connection with our Lord. And that was the way of the prophets. The prophets, when they were struck with a calamity, when they went through hardship and they needed to be patient, and they knew they had to be patient in this moment, who did they turn to? They turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why if you hear in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us to be patient, isbiru, know that what is meant here is that be patient by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you patient. And this is why we know the story of Ya'qub alayhi salam. When going through a severely difficult time in his life, losing his two of his beloved children, what did he do? He said, إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحِزْنِ إِلَى اللَّهِ He said, I only and only turn to Allah. I complain to Allah with my grief and my sorrow. That is the way of the prophets. That is the way of the Prophet Muhammad And that is why, you know, there's this famous story of uh, Ibn Abbas And in this story, he's, he's on a journey, he's away from home, and he is brought, you know, Ibn Abbas, he's traveling, he's not by himself, he's, he's with some people, with some companions of his. And a messenger comes and whispers something into his ear. And Ibn Abbas, he listens to what he has to say, then immediately he turns around, he faces the Qibla, and he prays two rak'ahs of prayer. And now his companions, his friends, they're, they're trying to figure out, like, what's going on here? Well, what happened? And they asked the messenger, what news, what news did you bring Ibn Abbas? And he said, I brought him the news of the death of his son. And Ibn Abbas, he finishes praying two rak'ahs of prayer, and his companions say to him, his friends, they say to him, why did you do that? Like, we didn't even see, like, the, the expression on your face change. We didn't see you cry. We didn't see you get upset. We didn't see any reaction from you. We just saw you immediately turn around and pray two rak'ahs of prayer. And Ibn Abbas, عنهما, he replies to them. He said, haven't you heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us? Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, isti'inu bil sabri wa salah. Haven't you heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that those of you who believe, seek help, seek help in patience and prayer. Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Allah is with those who are patient. That was the understanding of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And you know what that was? That was the education that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave to the companions. That they knew in that moment of calamity, that moment of difficulty, what do they have to do? Immediately turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because relief and comfort can only come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that moment. You can have the best friend in the world, the person who knows you the best. You can go talk to your soulmate. You can go talk to your therapist, talk to whoever you want. But compared to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, means nothing. Because the comfort that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bring us in those times, in, in those moments, it's unparalleled. That was the upbringing that the Prophet gave to the companions of the Prophet, to the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum.